So today we got some huge has been hotel news. We got a new teaser, an interview from Viv about working on has been, and the confirmation of Edward Bosco, Monica Franco, and Jill Harris returning as voice actors in the full show. So to start things off, Bento Box was featured in the Emmy magazine, which had a special edition dedicated to animation. For those who aren't aware, Bento Box is the studio that is animating has been hotel under A24. So the front cover of the magazine features some of Bento Box's characters. We can see a wonderful render of Charlie in the middle. She's showing off her new redesign. The animation section features another render of a bunch of Bento Box characters celebrating. This time at the right we can see Alistair. He's got an evil grin and is holding a glass of wine. We can see his new design and he contrasts quite well against all the other background characters. So the animation section titled Expansion Pack talks a little about the animation studio. Halfway down we get a short interview with Viv. The article says, Bento Box has also landed talent with major buzz. Vivian Medrano had many options after her crowdfunded pilot for Has Been Hotel racked up 30 million views on YouTube. That got the interest of A24, which recommended Bento Box to the art school grad. Medrano had been working on her shows for years at a slow pace with small crews, financed largely by crowdfunding. Working with Bento Box introduced her to animation on a whole new scale. I really appreciate that Bento, versus some of the other options we had, was open to some of my team and trusted artists joining the show, Medrano says. That was instrumental in keeping it in line with the pilot. It made all the difference. So this basically gave a little context on how Viv and Bento got in touch. A24 recommended them and Viv chose them because she was able to keep everything in line with how the pilot was. It's great that both Spindlehorse and Bento Box were able to work together on the show. A little down on the page, we get the biggest news out of everything. Firstly, there's a small sneak peek image from Has Been Hotel. I have access to the article, but the resolution is still quite low, so apologies if it's a little blurry. This is a never before seen image and it shows Vaggy and Charlie together. They're sitting on a red chair in what appears to be the hotel. Vaggy looks shocked and Charlie looks embarrassed, so they're probably discussing something unusual. There's a book beside Charlie and in the background we can see the rest of the Pride Ring. It looks like everything is destroyed or on fire. Underneath the sneak peek image we get some info about the show. It says, Has been hotel, launch platform to be decided, summer 2023, creator Vivian Medrano, logline, adult musical comedy that is Lucifer's daughter opening a rehab hotel for misfit demons seeking redemption, cast Edward Bosco, Monica Franco, Jill Harris. So from this we now know that three cast members are confirmed to be returning in the full show. Edward Bosco voiced Alistair's speaking voice in the pilot, Monica Franco voiced Vaggy, and Jill Harris voiced Charlie's speaking voice. I speculated a little on this in my video about the voice actors, but I theorise that they're simplifying the show by having one voice actor per character instead of both a speaking and singing voice. It looks like I'm correct, and I think having one voice actor simplifies the overcomplicated process of having two actors per role. So this news is obviously fantastic. Ed, Monica and Jill were three people who never announced that they were let go. This was obviously because they were under an NDA agreement and couldn't reveal that they were part of the show. I'm really pleased that at least some of the original cast from the pilot were able to stay on. I'm interested to see who the rest of the cast will be in the final show. The plot of the show also makes mention of Lucifer, which leads me to believe that he'll play a larger role in the full show. Lucifer was previously just a background character on portraits in the pilot, so if the synopsis of the show makes mention of him, then he's going to be an important character for sure. Other than that however, the plot looks more or less identical to what we saw in the pilot. The sneak peek image was quite cool as well. From it and other sneak peeks, we've seen previously that it appears that hell is way more destroyed than in the pilot. Turf wars and violence was a key part of the pilot, so it appears that in the final show, hell has been ravaged through centuries of combat. The section also once again told us that the show is coming out in summer, but it did say that the launch platform hasn't been decided yet. We'll probably receive news about that in coming months. So that's all the news we've received about Has Been Hotel. This is the biggest news drop we've received in quite a while, so be sure to leave your thoughts on the sneak peek and the voice cast reveal in the comments down below. Special thanks to Twitter user ScratchCat for sending me some of the articles. Thanks for watching.